Hi everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here, and I am here once again with Barry, um, mostly because he was awake. And we are here today to talk about if someone gave you $150, how could you put together a hamster cage? Now, I've decided to make this an like another series on my channel where I'm going to do this for all the species in my home. Um, but I thought I'd start with hamsters mostly because, well, actually, Barry's awake and it's convenient, quite honestly. So, everything in his cage total comes to less than $150. That's including food and bedding. I wanted to try to make sure that... Oh no, I guess it will be $150 because I forgot the water bottle. Okay, regardless. So it's all $150 total. That's including things like food where you're getting a whole bag. Um, also things like sand where you're getting a whole bag. And bedding where it's going to be more than one change. Alright, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, so we will start off just talking about the food and the bedding to get started. For food, I have budgeted $30 because I use a mix, I recommend using a mix of two foods. One is a, t a lab block of some kind, either the Teclan blocks or uh, the Missouri. And if you buy the Teclan blocks, you have to generally buy a three pound minimum from a person who sells them, at least for Ontario. Can you see him tunneling? You can. And so that's $15, and then between $10 and $15 is going to be your seed mix. So I budgeted high on that, just in case, from where you are. Um, I didn't want that to throw it off too much. But you do mix those, and that is going to be obviously for, a, like, depending on how many hamsters you have, that will last you a very long time. The next thing that I, <laughs> that we budgeted for is bedding, is, oh, bedding. Stephanie can't talk today. Um, I recommend using something like Uber. It's super soft, but I budgeted, but I budgeted, I think twenty dollars in my budget for this because not everybody wants to buy the giant bag of bedding for sixty. But it's also not. I don't recommend buying the itty bitty little bags of anything because it really doesn't do much. And you do want around four to six inches of bedding available to your hamster. So I recommend using Uber. Uh, the, K the KT brand makes uh, stuff that's decent, and Boxo is, of course, the other one that I recommend. Moving over, you're being so cute. Moving over to their wheel, what I recommend, honestly, if you're in Ontario, is the Strong Brew Bucket Wheel. These are by far the easiest wheels to clean for their size. Um, they're $30 for a 10 inch wheel and I have them in the robo cages, the robos can turn them and so can Syrians. And just to give you a comparison, um, the six and a half inch silent spinner, so not the really, really big one, the one that most pet stores tell you to get, is actually like $20 on average. So for $10 more, you get a way better wheel that's a size appropriate wheel for any hamster. There's also a variety of colors and they're actually quiet and super, super easy to clean. I have always loved uh, wooden wheels, but now that I've switched to bucket wheels, I've been forever ruined. They are so much easier to clean, quieter, and just better wheels in general. So those are the big basic, those are the big items for purchase. Now, if we move over to this part of the cage, we have the water bottle. This is a $10 water bottle. It's small, however, it does hang in a tank. So if you're doing a tank or a bin, this is a really easy one. I really like it. It's $9.99. However, there are decent ones for like six and seven dollars. But generally budget around ten dollars. You want a wheel that's or a bottle that's not going to leak. Bendy bridges, I have budgeted from anywhere between five and like fifteen dollars. Um, depends on the size, depends on the look of one you want. Just to go over here for a second. If you want like that, the one back there, that's actually one big long one that I got for ten dollars on Amazon. That's the little one from PetSmart for $4.99. And this guy here is $9.99. So depends on what you want, what you're looking for, the size, but generally between $5 and $15, you will find a Bendy Bridge or more than one that you want for that price. The next thing I love is I budget for things like corkwood. I love cork rounds, cork bark, whatever I can find. I find it's great for hamsters. And generally speaking, you budget around $10 for a piece of that. You can get much larger pieces and you can get smaller ones, but I would say safe bet, you're gonna be spending about 10 bucks Canadian on that. So over here we do have driftwood. I love incorporating driftwood, everything. I like nat the natural look to cages, um, but generally speaking, you're gonna be spending again between 10 and $15 on your driftwood. However, it's often on sale at PetSmart. 
if your PetSmart carries it in the reptile section. So always watch for that. I never, I try to avoid spending anything over $10 on this stuff. Hello. And again, this is good for all hamster species. And then the next part of this are hides. Now, depending on where you get your hides, you can spend and save a lot of money. Hamster specific hides are often going to be overpriced and not big enough. I like going to places like HomeSense, Michaels, and the dollar store, and the fish section at PetSmart if I've got a small hamster. And you will sp uh, spend a heck of a lot less. In total, in this cage, I have less than $20 worth of hides, like in for all four. So this guy here is a flower pot from um, HomeSense. It was $6. This little guy here um, was from Value Village for two. The honeybee um, honeycomb thing was like four dollars because I got it on sale at PetSmart. And then the mushrooms are from Dollarama for three dollars. So overall you can get really thrifty with those and I do recommend doing that. The next part we're getting, do we're getting down the list here is sand. Now you can get play, children's play sand for six dollars for twenty uh, twenty kilogram bag, I think twenty kilogram or twenty pounds, uh, at Home Depot. And if you bake it, it's perfectly safe. Um, that's so it's six dollars in your budget. Or you can buy Repta sand without calcium for about fifteen. So the choice there's options to go above and below your budget depending on what your preference is. Repta sand is a little bit finer. Some people prefer it. And then. Last, we have, is it last? Yeah, so last it comes to chews, and you can use wood chews, um, whimsy chews, a mix of both, all of them, and whatever you'd like. This is a whimsy alligator. I got these for $2 on sale, so I tried, I stocked up on those. That is, I would always recommend buying whimsies on sale if you can, if you can do it, uh, because they are expensive. But if you buy the bigger ones on sale, it works out pretty well because they last a really long time. And as my friend pointed out, if you buy the big ones for the robos, they can't bury them and lose them, which is what happens with them. All right, so that is our budget for under $150 for doing a hamster cage. Of course, that does not include the cost of the hamster cage or the adoption fee or purchase fee of the hamster. But I hope that gives you a good idea that you can, totally, you can do a lot for a little and you don't have to include all of this stuff. Obviously every hamster doesn't need four hideouts. Um, this is just Barry's current setup and I thought I would add up roughly everything that was in the cage. This is stuff that I've accumulated over the years. And um, yeah, always watch for sales. Always go to like secondhand stores, dollar stores and see what's safe for your critter. Anyway, where'd you go? He's like away. Oh, there he is. Anyway, this has been Barry and I with uh, $150 to spend on your hamster. Take care, everyone. Be good to one another. Bye-bye.